Ward the beaver is more than just a busy rodent. He's a scientific pioneer. That's because samples of his blood ended up here in the labs at the hospital for sick children, where scientists who wanted to test out a new process decoded his entire genome. The result, the complete DNA of the Canadian beaver. So we applied uh, some of our latest ideas and the latest equipment and some of our key staff to sequence the genome of the beaver as a gift to Canadian science for the 150th birthday. Historians say Canada might not exist as it does were it not for the beaver, whose luxurious pelts spawn the fur trade and exploration across the country. Commemorated on stamps and coins, even corporate logos, it turns out the beaver is closer to humans than we knew. The genome of the beaver is roughly the same size as the human genome. And uh, many, many of the genes that are found in human brain development are found in beaver genome. Intriguing since the beaver is one of few animals that alters its environment, building its own home like humans. It's remarkable that you can go from something like learning about the genome of a, a water-dwelling rodent and turn it around to learn something about ourselves. And the new technique developed to study Ward the beaver's DNA is now being used in autism research, giving scientists a faster way of looking for genes involved in the disorder. This team has already uncovered dozens of genes linked to autism, and they now think they can find more. One of the holy grail is come up with a cheap, fast way of doing it. And so Ward was a perfect example for us to try out the new technology. The technique may even be used in other diseases, even cancer. All because scientists took a closer look inside our national animal. Avis Favreau, CTV News, Toronto.